Item number SCP-1371 Index Curiously buoyant amphibian Object class Safe Special containment procedures SCP-1371 is to be kept in a glass aquarium located in a level 1 security cell at Site 18. It is to be fed a diet of one earthworm once every three days. SCP-1371 is not to be handled physically. The object should only be moved while inside of a container. Description SCP-1371 appears to be a juvenile leucistic axolotl. SCP-1371 appears to age as a common axolotl would, although it is fairly durable and capable of withstanding moderate changes in atmosphere and containments that would normally harm a member of its species. SCP-1371 is buoyant in air, capable of swimming upwards distances of approximately 50 meters from the ground, although SCP-1371 spends most of its time on the ground and rarely ascends higher than one meter. While SCP-1371 is airborne, special care should be taken not to apply physical force to SCP-1371 without the intent to hold it, as this may damage the object. During testing protocol, researcher Sanders attempted to pet SCP-1371, causing it to descend and then ascend upwards at a continually increasing speed until it was retrieved. Following these observations and additional tests, it is believed that SCP-1371, when affected by an external force that would move it downwards, generates a massive excess of buoyancy to compensate for its displacement. Incident Report 1371-A Testing was authorized for an outdoor experiment in which SCP-1371 would be displaced while it was mid-air. SCP-1371-A was outfitted with a tracking device before testing commenced. Researcher Breen physically removed the object from the tank. SCP-1371 unexpectedly latched onto Researcher Breen's finger. In response, Breen grasped SCP-1371 to remove his finger, causing SCP-1371 to move 47 kilometers into the stratosphere in the space of 30 minutes. SCP-1371 returned in 16 hours, unharmed, slowly floating downwards to the exact position from which it was launched. It is the opinion of those presiding over the experiment that no further testing is necessary with this object.